Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Lord, you took my pain away. And then you gave me joy You're my peace, my melody In the center of the storm You gave me a brand new song To sing to you That's why I will lift up my voice And sing Yeah 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 Don't rush seasons in your life. What you are running away from today, you will miss it tomorrow. What you are going through today is what will sustain your greatness. Hear what I'm telling you. I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. Don't run away from your pain. Carry the cross. Pay the price. Pay it honorably. Don't tell lies. I cannot afford Gary now. It doesn't mean I'm irresponsible. I'm a tighter. I trust God. I'm walking my way with integrity to fruitfulness. There are so many packaging and lies. You borrow 100,000, buy a shoe, buy hair, buy a shirt, buy suit, buy Bible, buy iPad, and say I'm in ministry. Or okay? God, walk it slowly. You may, you may take pap for one week. Don't be ashamed. If a visitor wants to visit you, don't beg your friend to go to his house and say, that's my house. Don't be ashamed of your father. Your father is a carpenter. Your father is an iron bender. <coughs> you are lying and saying your family are abroad. Don't ever, don't be ashamed of your pain. It is what validates your testimony tomorrow. When you rise and people say you faked it, someone say, I knew him all. I knew that brother when he was tightening and soaking Gary. Rejoice not over me, my enemy. Christians, hear me. I know that you watch those who were your classmates. They are going and God is saying, wait back. Don't, don't cry. Don't ever find yourself crying. Because one step with his voice will over. It will give you 10 years result overnight many people will insult me for what i'm telling you now because it's an unconventional path but that's the path to the throne that's where we follow to be where we are today rejoice not over me my enemy stop this life of lies and packaging no the word is working whether you see results or not if you are sick go to the hospital with honor the healing ministry is still on your head it will come it will manifest god told you you will be a bishop over churches in nations and three years into the ministry you have 20 members don't lie and write online that you have 30 branches and 50 people why fake what will eventually be real Lord I trust you oh I trust you I trust you I trust you and I rejoice I'm not ashamed of my pain I'm not ashamed of where I am if all I can take today is Gary I take it with honor and pride if you visit me you will join me taking that Gary if you think you are too big no problem I honor you but don't rush my seasons let me go through it let me go through it I know we started ministry together now you have 1,000 members I have 10 members our anointings are not the same the higher the anointing the deeper the call the higher the anointing the more the greater the weight unhealthy comparison all kinds of things destroying the body of Christ when you want a genuine anointing you must be ready to dig deep you must be ready to dig deep there are times God will tell other come to sin 
other ladies will be moving and God will say you stay back and you say God you have started with me again God said just walk with me see let me tell you if your work with God does not cause you to ask questions you are not working with him because you you walk with God one day and say God what is this then he keeps quiet you are reaching your breaking point because a day will come you say Lord whether you ever bless me again or not since I've come this far I've, there's a way you enter fire it burns you there's nothing to burn again what made you cry yesterday is what will make you rejoice today that's spiritual maturity that's why you see men somebody persecutes you and says pastor alpha is not he he's, he's somebody who is doing this and that and he doesn't even pray about it you have sat in that fire long enough that fire has roasted every flesh there's nothing left there again this over consciousness the need to explain yourself is a sign that you have not been broken in his presence many people see manifestations like this like what is happening they desire it they put their hand on their head and then they think all to get it is to package 10,000 naira. Is that what you paid for the school fees of your, your, your school? You package 10,000 naira, and no, you can take an anointing but not a track record. The track record must be even husband and wife, you won't pass through this together. No matter how close you are, when it comes to this journey, let me tell you, I know you love yourselves, but God will isolate you and put you it's amazing a husband and his wife can be married but be going through experiences both of them cannot explain to themselves that's the dealings of god that's why you must be sensitive that's why we say people must be born again to marry and serious with god because of these seasons a time will happen you get up in the morning and see your husband like a madman strolling in front of the parlor don't think he's stupid it's not depression it's a season even him he cannot articulate the name of what is happening to him and women like knowing my husband what is it that i'm not cooking well for he says look you are too innocent to be carried into this furnace just stay there when i win i will let you know and the man says this is the value of the shadow of death i can't watch you and my innocent children or whoever just stay there and you see him wake up Time to eat a delicious meal he just turns that plate upside down and there's no appetite listen the training of a spiritual man is hard this is why you talk about them in the secret God will punish you in the open you don't know what is a covenant pain is a covenant in the realm of the spirit Psalm 50 verse 5 gather unto me my saints they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice for every time you cry and still trust him it's a covenant you are entering with him you may not know for every time he did not show up and people say where is your god and you frown back in shame and say lord i didn't have an answer for them but you are still my god it's a covenant you are entering somebody insults that altar is a joke i taught you on altars last week no sir That's why when you hear certain men of God talk, you think he's pride. You may not respect them, but respect the blood on their altar because there is blood there. God will not give you a mic and call people just because you think you have been in ministry for years. No, sir. You don't like tonight's message. It doesn't look very nice. I show you the making of spiritual people. You want fruitfulness? It's not just a key point. A, B, C, D. I'm leading you. Some of you, I'm revealing to you what you are about to enter because it's a season. God said it's your year of triumph. Welcome to the season when the other side of the training will start. It's not a course. Listen, listen, hold on. There is a difference between temptation and trials. Listen, let me correct something here. God never tempts people. Where you see tempt written with respect to God, it was an error in translation temptation is a trap trial is a test it's an exam God will never tempt you the goal of temptation is to destroy you the goal of a trial is to build you are we together now when those seasons come do not think it is unusual you want power you want grace 
you want to prophesy to someone you want to speak over people and let them come to testify brothers and sisters is not suit and tie it's not designers it's a track record it's blood and tears and pain you want god to give you the wealth of nations overnight it will not happen just by luck everybody say trust <laughs> say trust genesis 17 let's read from verse 1 to 6 thank you darling genesis 17 quickly when abraham was how old 90 years old bible students how was he how old was he when god called him help me 75 90 years old abraham had not yet seen that promise and that blessing and he was still walking god came and just reminded him hey my god when abraham was 90 years old and nine hundred minus one the lord appeared to abraham and said unto him i am the almighty god walk thou before me and be perfect you are reading to verse six and i will make my covenant between me and thee and i will multiply thee what say fruitfulness i will multiply you after waiting so long i will still do it exceedingly verse three and abraham fell on his face and god talked with him saying we're reading to verse six as for me behold my covenant is with thee abraham remember the discussion we had in chapter 12 i came to remind you that is still in force although your life has not seen it continue don't give up let me tell you how to know god is leading you sometimes in the midst of that fire help will not come it's a reminder you know how an alarm is tan 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 i know that fire is roasting you but just calm down i'm still alive god where are you i've always been there watching you so he's reminding abraham thou shalt be a father of many nations just an updated translation of genesis 12. read on neither shall thy name anymore be called abraham but thy name shall be called what abraham for a father of many nations have I made thee, verse 6. And I will make thee exceedingly fruitful. And I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. Abraham, continue. Abraham, continue. It's been five years, oh God every brother that wants to come to me you drive him away god says i know exactly what i'm doing just keep walking why are you doing this to me and god says continue to walk brothers and sisters there is one thing i can tell you the dealings of god with men is like pregnancy you've seen a woman pregnant a woman does not throw away her pregnancy because she's vomiting blood because she's coughing because she's doing whatever you will still carry it whether they are twins or triplets you won't beg that one child should come to your head because they are heavy you are still going to god has put an exact position where that child must stay if you had a choice you would transfer it to your head to make it easy but that's not god's way you will leave that child there that pregnancy will twist you you who used to be a nice beautiful lady still carry the pregnancy the pregnancy will force you to want food that is smelling smoke you who will not even eat food but now the pregnancy has so deshaped you and redefined your appetites keep going because when that child is born it is the giving birth that will bring people to you they won't just come to visit you for nothing except god has not spoken you will see triumph this year forget whatever it is that is happening except the god of heaven has not spoken you will see it happen I trust him. I trust him. I trust him. Trust him. Show us the ancient path. Would you lead us along eternal highway? We want to walk 
in the footsteps of Jesus We want to enter your rest Show us the ancient past Would you lead us along eternal highway We want to follow the ways of Jesus we want to enter your rest I wish I didn't have to preach this today I wish I could just tell you all there was to success and fruitfulness is just drop money receive an impartation let it roll you on the ground and all of a sudden listen this is a painful key to a sustainable destiny there, tonight there's no male and female if you want to pass through that road you are genderless when it comes to that that deal you won't say reduce the training because i'm a woman there is no woman in this process because you are working with your spirit you will pass through don't let your tears stop you <clears throat> you may cry oh, but continue god is speaking to someone don't let your tears ever stop you. Don't let the naysayers bring words to you and say, I thought you claim you are called. And then because of that, you now say, okay, let me organize a seven days prayer meeting to prove to these people I'm called. God didn't send you. You are now compounding both fullness of affliction and temptation. You are joining them together to kill yourself. No. Satan came when Jesus was hungry and testing. And said if you are the son of God turn this stone to bread he had the power to make it happen he said no I don't have to prove it the voice has already declared it with power that I'm the son of God trust 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 submission brokenness then the next step trust please sit down let me give you two more and then we'll pray the third key to being fruitful is an encounter with the spirit of revelation write it down the third key to being fruitful is an encounter with the spirit of revelation when you trust god and you begin to walk with him he will use your life and use everything around you to begin to expose you to the manifestation of the spirit of revelation the spirit of revelation is not knowledge the spirit of revelation is not knowledge the spirit of revelation brings you into not just an awareness but um how do i put it now it is it's really the word intercourse is the word koinonia a sharing together with that information such that you are not just aware you become an expression of it the spirit of revelation God begins to show you how things work and because you are already broken and you are at your low estate there will not be pride and argument you will listen he will speak to you he will guide you precept upon precept he will lead you to a book a book by a man of God you would have never bought in your times of pride but now because you have been broken you will go and sit down and settle down that book you are learning while you are learning nothing yet as at yet is happening but you are building knowledge understanding revelation insight insight is very important if you must be fruit. listen the birth of anything valuable is painful anything valuable you don't mind gold on the surface right you dig deep there are certain levels of insight no matter how much you are a christian god will not just hand it over to you at a platter of gold there is a posture you must take in the spirit to appreciate it so god will wait you may hear a man of god preach it but it will be unfruitful to you 
until a season activates the need for it then god now begins to bring you that revelation and it starts making sense yeah though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death you have been reading it you recited it when you were in sunday school but now that you are really in the valley of the shadow of death that scripture means a lot to you i fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me and the word comes with light I remember the time we gave an instruction to dance i know that many people didn't do it do you know why because there's no need for it in their life you see if i give you touch light in the daytime you will appreciate me and just throw it away and even forget where it is but if nepa takes light you'll be looking for your phone the slightest light you will crawl and not be ashamed to look for it it is wasteful to supply people light that they have not yet communicated a need for they won't appreciate it you know growing up in ministry i always wondered why in pastors conferences when a man of god is preaching he can say something simple and you see pastors crying they are usually the ones standing up when a man of god is preaching and someone there is just laughing and say guy this man has energy to be standing up then the person laughing now marries a pastor you see that and after five years of hellfire the next time they go for a conference they say let's wave our hands the person is rolling Just wave your hands to god and say, i can't wave my hands oh god wave my hand is what i do in my room i will roll here because you have now seen the need for that revelation some of you what you are hearing today will not be applicable to you today the holy spirit will store it in a bank it will be after four years huh four years one night you will pant after this message you will find it you will gasp for it you will borrow phones borrow lantern and sit down and listen to it the price of revelation the bible says, buy the truth everybody say the truth is costly say it again the truth is costly yes it will cost you time listen you don't attract to your life what you love you attract to your life what you respect to love a thing is to find it desirable to respect a thing is to find it valuable there are two different things you never attract to your life what you love you attract to your life what you honor what you respect to love a thing or a person is to find that thing or that person desirable an emotional connect but to respect a thing is to find it valuable it's a right for these words are faithful and true i've been a student in the school of revelation this bible you see when i'm lying down to sleep is on my bed when i wake up is following me wherever i am. forget how old you are seeing it like this this bible has I've worked with this Bible for a while and I have found secrets therein. Secrets that can turn any man to become every word that God spoke concerning him. Nobody will spoon feed you. Thank God for devotionals. Thank God for um, Esau. Thank God for concordances. But brothers and sisters, if you want to know God, you want to grow in the word, you have to sit down this spoon feeding of believers now I, of course I'm, a, I'm i'm not i'm not against access to devices and things that will help us but there is nothing that will replace sitting down in one place and giving the word time i'm too busy i'm too busy then you see your life nose diving they are life to those who find them and health to their flesh some of you open your bible only on friday during koinonia you close it on Friday only to open it on Friday again or on Sunday. That's not a good testimony, let me tell you. You will need to be serious with the word of God. This is like a treasure chest. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word. And I will forever sing your Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your 
presence of your word and I will forever sing your praise I will sing I will sing of the wonders of your word I will sing now for joy I will sing Whatever you spend time with, you become that thing. You spend time in a beer parlor, you become a drunkard. You don't become a pilot in a beer parlor. You spend time in a beer parlor, you become... You spend time playing games, computer games. You become a computer game professional. You spend time in the farm, you become... You don't become a doctor. You spend time in his presence, you become an envoy. That's what happens. A testament that the word of God is alive. Spend time in his presence. Don't say I'm busy doing what? God gave you 24 hours to seek him. If you are seeking him properly, it is enough. Some of us are snoring away our destinies when we should be seeking him some of us are eating away our destinies when you should be seeking him some of us are gisting and gossiping away our destinies when we should be seeking him i'd like you to pray and say lord restore my passion for scripture pray pray before we continue restore my passion for scripture i don't know what happened to me but lord restore my passion for scripture the excuses that i give the laziness this spiritual inertia that came upon me and is making me barren and unfruitful in the world you are a pastor pray this prayer twice because you can be studying the bible just to get messages not to encounter god and not to grow you are a man of god here you are a ministry pay twice hallelujah psalms 82 verse 5 to 7 says they know not please give it to us psalms 82 and verse 5 they know not neither will they understand it says they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course I want us to look at verse 5 in Amplified. If it's possible, please give it to us. If it's not possible, then we'll just go. Let's look at it. I want you to see the way Amplified puts it. The magistrates and judges know not. Neither will they understand. Listen. They walk on in the darkness of complacent satisfaction. And then he says, all the foundations of the earth the fundamental principles upon which rest administration and justice are shaking please go back to king james verse 6 says have i not said regardless of your state it does not change my prophecy your lack of revelation and understanding robs you but my prophecy still remains the same have i not said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high verse 7 tragedy it says but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes so i have said you are gods but it doesn't mean you will manifest it between prophecy and manifestation is access to revelation understanding the working knowledge of the word the epignosis we call it Many times God delays your lifting to help you understand the laws you are, you are going to be working with like tools. God delays your lifting to help you understand these laws. You don't learn these laws when you are on stage. No. Life is very unforgiving for the unprepared. 
so he delays you a bit yeah. and keeps you so that you will learn it you never knew that praise was a weapon you thought it was something they do before messages come and then in that cave of adulam the spirit of revelation comes to you and says look praise is not just about singing songs dancing is not just about moving your body clapping is not just about making sounds and he begins to teach you that your tears are a mystery in the spirit your laughter is a mystery in the spirit and all of a sudden you see situations that can crash your life down and the spirit of god tells you laugh now because you know this law you will not think you are you are you are you are mad you will laugh do you know in psalm 2 let me show you something about laughter laughter is a mystery the irony is that every time god wants to judge he laughs before he starts judgment psalm 2 give it to us why do the hidden rage and the people imagine a vain thing next verse the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the lord and against his anointed saying let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us verse 4 he that seated in the heavens shall do what help me shall do what if we ask promise come if i ask promise to stand here and i say promise talk to us and all of us start laughing at him i mean real laugh some of you the way you laugh if somebody he can even cry just watching you laugh now imagine all of us keep laughing at him what do you think will happen to him let me tell you something about laughter laughter is a weapon that disarms the devil it's a it's a dangerous spiritual arsenal that believers do not know the bible says, rejoice in the lord and again i say rejoice when you see people under the anointing you see them laughing you know the trouble that they were complaining of before they fell under the anointing they are laughing and they stand up and they are ashamed of themselves they are cleaning their powder and they are, they are instead of them to rejoice whatever made the holy ghost to make you laugh don't you think it's a good thing because when god laughs start rejoicing but the enemies his enemies who have made themselves your enemies as i'm going to be showing you now he that seated in the heavens shall laugh the lord shall have them in derision verse 5 after laughing then he shall what speak to them don't worry this is a ministry of signs and wonders you know that then he shall speak to them this laughter you see that is happening is by the spirit don't think people are faking it for those of you who are new it's the it's of the spirit right remember the bible says and the lord walking with them confirming the word so as the spirit of god is speaking this is what is called this is not a miracle these are signs and wonders is a ministry where as you are speaking there is a grace for performance it's a sign to both believers and unbelievers to show the level of accuracy of the person speaking and to show that this is truly of god are we together now i'm explaining it to you so you see she's not the only person who will laugh you'll see people laugh all around but it is by the spirit you can't sit down and be laughing like this that's a beautiful lady if she should watch herself laughing like that she will stop so this is by the spirit it's all right let's let's continue after laughing after laughing what do you think he will do then she shall speak to them in what so that laughter was not just because he's happy he's laughing at what he as a as a principle before you know how somebody's about to beat you and <laughs> let me just man that's what god is doing there it's in your bible i'm showing you mysteries mysteries that all that's why the first sign of the spirit of depression ask doctors is the absence of laughter when two people are fighting what's the first thing that disappears not love laughter laughter so you turn your way i turn my way and the devil is happy but all of a sudden you see your result or your boss tells you we are going to downsize people and your name is on the list we have been eyeing you we are hoping to drive you and now that we are found and you just tell him god bless you sir you say I, i'm talking and you are still smiling no no i'm not smiling at you sir 
I'm just, God is faithful. I'm smiling because I know my God is alive. Not a sarcastic laugh, but a laugh in confidence. A brother comes and said, I've changed my mind. I will marry you again. It's okay. God be the glory. You can laugh with tears coming out of your eyes. Just do it. It's a mystery. It's not about I feel like. You are engaging a mystery. When you tight, you don't feel like. You are moved by that revelation. Listen, there are many cheap pathways to victory in the spirit that we do not know. Some of you hate those that are always happy and laughing. The Bible says a merry heart. A merry heart. Not just a merry mouth. Not just a merry faith. Your heart can laugh too. Your heart can be happy. And it will show. I'm not talking of this clownish thing. You can be happy. The joy of the Lord. This depression that many of us are carrying. You don't know that depression is like a door. That you open for the spirit of darkness. And it sits on your destiny never see me frowning and pulling my face as if the whole world is falling God is alive two of us can't be awake if he's awake I sleep mm. laughter and then judgment follows immediately there are times what you need to do is to write a request of all the things that have mocked you and laugh before God and say Lord I've cried but I won't cry again and laugh before him switch to dancing switch to praise musician or not if you cannot sing find this high ego praise high ego praise those people did not produce that album for money you 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 see the consecration in their lives you know they meant it the the, the scriptures they quote before the song starts that's, that's called warfare praise. Don't let people tell you there is no such thing. Right? Psalms 149. Let the high praise of God be in their lips and a double-edged sword in their hands. There is a warfare dimension of praise. When all else fails, switch to praise. Dance your life and turn every hell around. The same way Yoruba people dance before a rich man. They play drums and dance. He wants to enter his car. They call his name and shake their head and dance before you know it he will reach out to his pocket and bring out what he did not plan for was it not a lady that danced before herod what is it about her dance she danced before herod and removed the head of a prophet what is troubling you is not a prophet can remove the head kenneth copeland asked bishop Oyedeko and said you claim we are the ones who mentored you in the word of faith but why is it that God has given you this increase? So much members. And Bishop Oedeko said he danced every one person in this church into that place. See, let me tell you, I don't like dancing. God, I, I, you know, you look at me and you know that I don't have that gift. But it's a weapon. Do you use a weapon just because you like it? You use it for efficiency. Efficiency. knowledge of the principles of the kingdom so you know what to do your rent is expiring that's not the time to pray wrong spiritual approach no it's too late you would have been praying since you saw the signal you have been having a lot of dreams the moment it is quarter to shape don't pray dance rejoice please let this thing i'm teaching you the weapons of war he said with wise counsel make war quarter to shame get one koinonial message get one worship team people come and give them honorarium let them record something and sing and dance put it in your pocket if all your phone has is movies and games you are not ready for life you must have these arsenals in place so that the moment the devil strikes you know the song already you bring it out hallelujah and you watch battles turn around overnight overnight battles turn around overnight listen you want to be fruitful the longest period of your waiting process will be invested in knowledge spiritual intelligence knowledge you have trusted god you are humble but let me tell you 
the classes of the realm of the spirit is not semester by semester you see that it's a product of many things god's course is not three credit load it is your desire that can turn it into three credit six credit you can do a lecture two weeks and you have finished a class and the next class is two years you stay there god's classes is not like a an exact period of three three months no way you can be two years in a class it will give you break then you do another elective and call you back not to a higher course the same course let's continue lord i thought we finished no we finished what let's continue but when you are done you will see the value of that thing for a student you can miss a few lectures and read quickly during exam and make up in the school of the spirit you miss one class that class you have missed will show in your destiny that lecture you did not attend the floor will be very clear in your destiny god's god's dossier for attendance must be hundred percent even if you have graduated and you have 89 percent you must complete that remaining that's why some of you will be embarrassed that after many years you see god drawing you to certain things that you think are basic just walk with him more. walk with him and sit quietly and let him deal with you you think that you have finished the issue of the flesh and then one day as a great man of god god calls you for a fresh lecture and the theme of the lecture is crucifying the flesh and you start again don't fight him be humble and stay say lord help me you thought you have overcome loss for money and then after 20 years of ministry god asks you to go for a retreat and you don't talk about pride whatever god says i just want to kill the influence of mammon and you say lord i thought when i started with you say we didn't finish that course i only gave you a break or you stop attending lectures but now that you are ready to come back you don't do superstar with god if you miss lectures for 10 years the day you meet with god again you go back and continue from where you started now men don't expect you to go back this is the challenge i have with celebrities who become born again someone was a secular for instance a secular musician are we together now and then the guy gets born again and then you bring him to church and he's already used to the flamboyancy of stage life then you make him music director no way if he comes to church he must join if you have a foundation class he must go through that principle and learn and know god that his gifted is not enough is he spiritual it takes time to be spiritual you don't impart spirituality hallelujah everybody say revelation say knowledge when you see a man that is full of light and revelation when god gives the green light look at david david was in the wilderness and god kept training him with the sleep the moment it was time to destroy Goliath he went with confidence when you shake in the time of battle it's a sign that you are not sure of your arsenals are we together now and he defeated Goliath effortlessly my personal goal is to have access to the mysteries as many if not all that I will need for my life and destiny and to fulfill God's call for my life so that no matter what arises before it lands is meeting a mystery mysteries are not words that I coined out that's the name of the system of God's operation he operates in mysteries Matthew 13 verse 11 it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom Matthew 13 11 it has been given to you we do business in this kingdom on the strength of the mysteries that we know someone looks at you and says promise you will never rise in this life that person is not just making an empty statement that person is speaking on the strength of something maybe divination you don't just stand and say it will never happen it will happen until you have a mystery an understanding something you know that can oppose it are we together now yes if i push this guy he should fall down but if he's stronger than me he can create another force that will resist whatever i'm trying to do then he will stand you don't stand in life not holding anything and dare the devil 
and their witches and wizards like many arrogant people are doing in the body of christ if you know you have power come and kill us in the village and you hear silence no answer the only thing you see is that after one week the only thing you can do is to see you can't talk you can't stand you can't stand up you can't walk that was the answer from the realm of the spirit to you and saying be careful make sure you see god before you stand before pharaoh but by the grace of god with the training you are receiving here let me tell you i pity whoever rises against you one dance one dance one hour of proper dance in the presence of god will crumble that person to his knees i tell you this don't just hear these things alone a devourer is coming you pick up your tithes and say lord i am a titan i am a titan i stand as a family we are titans my business is a tithing business devourer i rebuke you and satan says he knows he knows he understands you can be a titan and he will still destroy you you speak based on knowledge the bible says knowledge uh, how did he put it wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times what do you know that can bail you out in this period of languishing recession and pain what do you do when you are the only person who is born again in your family and everybody is opposing you do you know there is something you can engage please everybody say after me excuse me say after me in the name of jesus what i need to do in the face of danger in the face of challenges i receive access to it it is costly to stand stupefied watching life not knowing what to do he said jesus himself knew what to do jesus himself knew what to do you find out that you've been married six months people are asking you madam we are not seeing anything don't worry don't start getting angry and saying what is your business no just say lord i give you thanks one year two years three years it looks like no child is coming don't start being cynical and see every woman with a child and you are angry and saying they are laughing at me no father i give you praise start practicing the law of honor you see pastor alpha and his wife and their child what do this child want oh this child needs a shoe you quickly go and buy the shoe you are engaging mystery see waiting for things to change i told you is the secret of frustration you engage you only wait when you know you are engaging some of us have been sitting waiting if you are waiting to know what to do then that's wise if you are waiting for things to change apostle nobody is coming to marry me engage engage do something engage doesn't mean to travel and go to a married man's house somewhere <laughs> to engage means find someone who has married find a family find one mother somewhere you see our mothers all around one day you can find a mother package five for life package something wrap her and say mommy please i see that you are married with seven children they are all alive and they are responsible that grace upon your life i've taught you commanding result these are the various mysteries you must be trading for you to rise and you engage it the woman will just hold it and say my daughter may god bless you i bless you i remember it was pastor corey de komaya that was sharing a story he has twins and um um was bishop aremu of living faith you know i think they have twins too and one time his wife was with the wife of bishop aremu and then she looked at her and said yourself uh -uh, you've not given birth to you've not given birth again and she said mommy no and she took her veil and stoned her with it said take twins job like joke that's how she was pregnant with twins and gave birth with twins there are mantles so there are people who are carriers of your prayer point bodily they are working in it 
when you know how to tap into what your portion is you will find out that when, what is killing others you will walk over it there's no food in your house you find somebody who has enough to give and buy one mudu of gari and take to his house it looks like it's, it's not it's not correct but that's how we rise in the kingdom the lesser you have 500 naira left don't wait till it's 20 naira I don't know how one tier, how much one tier of gari is, you buy it. Buy lollipop for the children. You don't even have to tell them that's why you came. Just like, boy, take. Once they open your lollipop and they're taking, start rejoicing. They are engaging in mystery. Ay. Brothers and sisters, those who don't know the mysteries of the kingdom are the ones who remain. You enter a place to start a ministry. Nobody knows you. You are a young minister. Find the greatest ministry there, Orthodox or Pentecostal. Quietly go and worship with them, whether you believe what they are saying or not. Sit down under that atmosphere. When you worship with them, try to see if you can gain access to the man of God. If you cannot, put a small seed and sow. That atmosphere must open for your ministry. Because you are tapping into a grace. You go to minister somewhere and there is a man of God with an unction higher than you. Recognize and honor him. Don't enter there and just say, well, we are all here and uh, I hear this person is around. Don't be stupid. Many young people do that and their heavens are closed. And for that ministration, they struggle. You enter, there are elderly people, you appreciate them. You are a small boy or small girl that God gave grace. Don't ignore them. I appreciate everybody here. And you find out boom your heaven is open but you go there arrogantly and you see people who are you may have more revelation than them it's not about revelation it's about status it's about a track record in the spirit are we getting blessed for every dimension you desire there is a mystery that controls it find out learn it find out it won't come as a gift it's a by the truth it will cost you you found out that nothing is working financially in your life. Don't say that's how every young man is. It's a lie. Let me tell you the truth. There are people, look at me. I say it with all humility. There are people who have conquered poverty and lack forever. It will never return till Jesus comes. Make no mistakes of believing that everybody is struggling. Don't take people's humility for granted to think they are struggling. There are people who left the realm of financial struggle since you tap into it. Listen to the materials. Don't sit down and say, I'm, we are all young people. We are not, I'm not talking of job. Listen, do you know many people in the kingdom don't prosper God's way? Very few people in the kingdom prosper God's way. So when they hear people like us talking like this, they think we are just talking nonsense. There is a way God grants you prosperity that no devil no gate of hell will turn it around not up today down tomorrow you are up and you have gone never to return back again may that be your testimony but do you know the key you want to start a church please help the people shouting outside you want to start a church you don't know the key to leadership there is an exceptional leader somewhere learn the mysteries we are going to rise up to pray shortly. I thought I would be able to just um, take the last part, but then even if we stop here, that's all right. Access to light, the mysteries of the kingdom, the secrets of champions. There are people who touch certain things in the spirit and receive certain strange results here on earth. Strange results. I have seen people with a grace nothing finishes in their hands they may not like promise was said when he was raising the offering they may not be able to give you 100 million now but you will never come to their house remember what i was sharing last week a woman you see one mama selling akara with that akara she can bring out hundred thousand and give you you are doing three jobs hundred hundred thousand yet your money finishes there is a grace listen the final thing I will talk about very quickly is tapping into certain dimensions of grace. Some things cannot be taught, they are received. But it's not just general anointing, Holy Spirit, come. <clears throat> it's locating people who are carriers of these dimensions. 
it must be working for somebody close to you have the humility to see it a gentleman met me some time ago and he said he wanted to buy a car i said really i said so what are you doing about it and he said he's saving i laughed i said that means you are not going to buy a car forever till jesus comes you see a young man and ask him you want to buy a land he said what are you doing he said i'm i'm planning uh, for now i have hundred thousand you don't buy land by saving you buy land through favor whatever god gives you is not what you keep to buy land is what you engage correctly with that brings you to that level now many mainstream people again are going to insult me for this thing and even forget all those stupid preachers because they collect land and money from people but i tell you this with the integrity of god psalm 45 44 verse 3 give us psalm 44 verse 3 let me show you how to acquire if god wants to give you grace god wants to give you land this is how it comes read if you're a christian want to read by their own sword uh-huh neither did their own arm save them but thy right hand and thy arm the light of thy countenance because thou hast a favor this is how it happens this is how it happens there are graces you must tap into you don't have by default the baptism of the holy spirit will not bring those graces for you when you have revelation part of the things that revelation will give you is the ability to discern Dr. Mike Mudo calls it wisdom, the ability to discern difference. Ah, I've been a roommate with promise and I've noticed that my job pays more than his job, but he's happier, healthier with a lot of money. It's in my presence. I watch people bringing favor. It's a sign that there is a grace operating. Let me tell you something. It may be your husband. It may be your wife. It will not jump on them just because it's your wife or husband you must consciously tap into it are we together now if if um come Marcelina if Marcelina has a grace for supernatural favor I can stand as an arrogant man of God preaching with no favor but through knowledge I want to be fruitful remember I want results I'm talking of extraordinary fruitfulness I will discern how do you discern observation observation of recurrent results in people's lives are a sign that there is the finger of God a woman has four five six children all of them are responsible and you know that it's not that the parents could train them well there is a grace you are about to get married as a young couple go and meet them kneel down help her make pepper soup do whatever you do mommy bless us she say ah no don't worry my children don't allow all that greeting to distract you kneel down and remain there till that hand comes on your head and you you can sow into her life you can say Marcelina sorry let me just help you and worship you. ah no I won't do this you are a great woman of God no even if you are the person that got that person born again with respect to what you want to receive you are the lesser so you must humble yourself to receive are we together and you tap into that grace and that mantle lands on your head you start producing extraordinary results i'm like a fisherman i know graces that are needed and where they are found and when i when i'm pursuing a grace i'm not embarrassed that's what took me to canaan land to go and meet bishop Oyedeko. That's what took me to Joss to go and meet Renard Bonke. You, you fish unashamedly. You don't receive impartation from colleagues. Promise, promise. We are, we are, uh, I remember when we were in secondary school. Can you bless me? I'm seeing something working in your life. What's it? Can you imagine? Can you imagine what he's doing? <laughs> Hallelujah. I didn't realize what he was doing. Praise God. There are people who are very foolish. Some of you, your parents are carrying the grace that you need for your next level. But you have not discerned it. You pass them every time. Mommy, I'm going for fellowship. May God help you. And she keeps wondering. 
when she was your age 20 men were looking for her you are almost twice her age nobody is coming tap tap into it somebody who lives in your neighborhood all he has is primary school certificate yet in your presence you are you are joining others to say his money is his charm because naysayers always find explanations once they see someone blessed they have to find something and say that thing here eh, you see eh, jimmy just leave that guy that guy is uh, is a there is a spirit don't see every young man who is blessed and just think there, there are spirits all around this is the end time be careful be careful don't allow cynical people rob you of your blessings when you find out that there is a grace it doesn't have to be from a high man of God some of you this night if you can turn and look at your roommate that you have been fighting with every day in the midst of that fight there is a grace tap into it be the one to cook the food tomorrow what's the occasion I noticed three of you in this room there is the hand of God on your life sir I noticed there is no week that passes without you being favored I want to tap into you may not have money you have polish you can polish his shoe you don't have money you have soap you can wash find one socks whether it's clean or not soak it again and wash it lord this i'm washing every nonsense out of my life results results your father may be a harsh man your mother may be a harsh man but you have never seen them beg for bread there are results in that area look away from the imperfections some of you your pastors may not have the revelations you have you even have higher revelations than them don't worry there is something they carry there are people no matter where they go to in less than three weeks somebody must find them and favor them they have this grace for territory send them to the valley of the shadow of death before they land there an angel will be waiting there look for them and bless them so is it there are many people who want crowds look for mission agencies around there are mission agencies there are orphanages you want god to make your children correct that their brains will be working well find an orphanage buy one bag of rice drag it there and meet them the children may not tell you thank you they may not even recognize you you are not doing it just for that tap into it i'm showing you how i live my life you engage mysteries and come back home and start dancing and rejoicing it's like a charm that has called all the blessings they start following you and bulldoze any mountain standing by themselves the principles will fight their way to bring the result to your life listen if you are here and you are looking for a job and you don't have a job start engaging mysteries now otherwise you will never get one please hear me are we together especially for brothers i'm waiting for a job you will wait forever engage mysteries if you don't know ask questions you want to start to start a business all you have is capital and a brain you are going to lose let me advise you don't even waste your time to start there are spiritual things we engage go and listen to my message spiritual intelligence settle things from the realm of the spirit before you start anytime you are in trouble don't start running to meet people physically settle it in the secret place you are in trouble the landlord is about to come and throw you out there is trouble your parents are going to court leave all those those things are shadows enter the secret place and correct it if it's something you need to invoke mercy invoke the mercy of god i've taught you about the mercy of god the mercy of god will turn is is god's divine partiality you should hang in the cross everybody knows you engage that mystery things turn around in a way that will surprise you hallelujah you see students here yeah? those who are students they will write exams they will not answer the questions but engage the right mysteries they come out from the exam cgpa 4.8 cgpa 4.7 you think these things are just guesswork no you engage mysteries 
We are going to pray. Our time is gone. But I want you to cry for fruitfulness. And I want you to cry for discernment. Discernment to know how to tap into graces. Don't sit down and be barren. I've taught you brokenness. I've taught you humility. I've taught you trust. I've taught you revelation. You must come around the knowledge of the mysteries. And then I've taught you how to search for anointings and graces that will fast track your life. Rise up on your feet and cry passionately before the God of heaven. Pray. Hallelujah. Just three quick prayer points. Prayer point number one. Lord supernatural supply of grace to trust you i will never doubt you again whether i understand what you are doing or not i banish complaint from my life i banish grumbling from my life lift your voice and pray supernatural grace to trust pray Grace to trust you. Grace to trust you. Grace to trust you. She na malada manana bos. Le na na masi na na. She na na na. She na na masi braga na bala na bala na 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 bala. I want to be extraordinarily fruitful, exceedingly fruitful. Shabrakata goso do paka shabrakata bala na ba. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. Lord, the mysteries I need to know in this season for the next level of my results. Show me. Give me encounters. Lift your voice and start crying. Lift your voice and start crying to God. Show me, show me, open my eyes. Make a parado kapraska dabala kaya. Open down my eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of your law. Show me the mysteries of wealth. Show me the mysteries of increase. Show me the mysteries of fruitfulness. The mysteries of restoration. The mysteries of peace. Show me the key, oh God, to making things work in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. Look up. Let me tell you sincerely. And I want to tell you this with all humility. Most of the graces you will need to produce the results that you need are available in this house. It's just that many of us have not had the discernment to tap. I'd like you to cry to God and say the grace that is deficient in my life that is responsible for this stagnation i open up my spirit to honor i open up my spirit to honor lift your voice pray this with wisdom the grace for the gift of men the ministry of helpers Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
listen i know that our time is gone but i want us to pray listen i want you to know that this house is a house of mantles this house is a house of strange graces you know just last week the lord did something in my life that he did something in my life that almost brought tears i said god what is this what is this what are you doing to me and the lord spoke to my ears and said i would do it to anybody who understands this it's not the individual that is making it happen is what is on you that is producing it listen i want you to pray before i pray for you don't be arrogant there is something deficient in your life that can cheaply bring you to seasons of results you have seen it work in this life you have seen it work in this place lift your voice and cry from your heart and say lord i must tap into it lift your voice and pray. is on Sunday and every time these seasons come usually I don't think of what people do for me I just think of the faithfulness of God in my life and I kept thinking meditating all through this week and I just felt that if there is anything I can do to the body of Christ is to pray for you you have prayed for me but I want to pray for you there are things I carry I've seen very few people carry it and I don't know why. You don't have to kneel down to stand. I want you to believe it. I have seen certain things in my life and I've seen very few people and it has pained me because these things are for the taking. There are dimensions of graces. But this, this pride, please help me James wife. This pride, honestly brothers and sisters hear me. If you believe in this prayer that I'm praying for you, it will change your life. This thing you see is an election of grace. I may be a young man, but there is an ancient mystery on this person you see. I want you to believe it. You have taken all the shame. You've taken all disappointments. You've taken all the pain. You've taken all my sorrows. You've taken all my weakness. You've taken all my sufferings. You've taken all my tears. You've taken all my weakness. Nina Yimaka. Nina Yimaka. Sujana. Nina Yimaka. Don't don't sing. I 
I'm praying for you. You've taken all my sadness. You've taken all my weakness. You've taken all my limitations. You've taken all my poverty. You've taken all my dishonor. You've taken all my weakness. You've taken all my limitations. You've taken all my struggles. You have made them yours. You have made them yours. You've taken all my sadness. You've taken all my tears. You've taken all my sorrow. You've taken all my weakness. You've taken all my struggles. You've taken all my fears. You've taken all my weakness. You've taken all my mountains. You've taken all those mountains. You've taken all my mountains. I give you, I give you, I give you my highest praise. I give you, I give you, Lord, for everything you've done in my life. Lord, I give you, I give you, I give you my highest praise. I give you. I pray for you the power to prosper there is such a grace called the anointing to prosper I stand under this apostolic and prophetic mantle you have been part of this ministry you have been part of this vision from the depth of my spirit I release that mantle on your life now take it now take it now the power to prosper the power to prosper the power to prosper the power to prosper I release it from the depth of my spirit the Lord has given me uncommon honor and influence honor is a mantle it can be put on people I decree and declare that everyone connected with this vision everyone connected with this grace right now as I speak may that mantle of honor practically let it land on your life now take it now take it now strength honor grace for influence I know our time is gone but just pay attention you are receiving something that will change your life I decree and declare there is no time in my life where I have needed helpers and men did not rise there is a grace that can bring helpers from anywhere I prophesy to you let help us start appearing in your destiny from today. Let help us start appearing from your in your destiny from today. Hallelujah. I am a product of encounters. Both the ones I prayed for and the ones I did not pray for. Encounters have brought me strange graces encounters of angels encounters with the realm of the spirit i open you up to a water in the realm of the spirit begin to have encounters from today receive visitations receive visitations receive visitations visitations of angels visitations of the spirit visitations in visions visitations in dreams May they bring you revelation. Listen, a 
lot of the impartations I've received have come to me in visions. Where literally in visions, I receive impartations. I have met with the saints. The spirits of just men. This is not diabolism. I have received from men in the flesh. But I have received from men in the spirit. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Every mantle. Every grace. That must make the supernatural begin to work in your life. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Hear me. Everyone in ministry here from today. I launch your ministry to a realm of strange signs and wonders. Strange signs and wonders. Strange signs. A performance. A performance of the word. Hallelujah. I pray for everyone here. Called into the area of business. Called into the area of finances. Or anyone trusting God to lift you. There is a grace that establishes men. I decree and declare. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Between now and the next 60 days. Rise to a level you have never seen in your life. Rise to a level you have never seen in your life. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I've shared with you the story. I don't talk too much about myself. Hallelujah. It was last year, right here. In three weeks, God gave me a gold mine. In three weeks, God gave me a gold mine. 18.7 hectares of a gold mine. I never saw it once till I got it. There is a grace that empowers men. You better believe it. I stand here tonight in the name that is above all names. I prophesy to you. Enter into prepared blessings. Enter into prepared blessings. Enter into prepared blessings. Enter into prepared blessings. Beyond your certificate, enter into prepared blessings. Beyond your job, enter into prepared blessings. One of the things I've seen in my life is supernatural defense and protection. There are many of you, the moment you are in trouble, nobody arises to help you. You sit there, you fight alone and die alone. Are we together now? I want to pray for you. This one, I've not seen many people walk in that grace. There is a grace that immunes you from trouble. We live in a wicked world. You don't have to look for anybody's trouble. Someone just comes and makes nonsense out of your life. Nobody to speak for you. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the God of Israel who has defended me, and defended this ministry from today i don't know what brings shame to your life i create a wall of defense around you receive that grace from today in the name of jesus christ i pray for you quarter to shame may help arise for you The last prayer I'm going to pray for you is for speed. Some of us are too slow. And it's not just by God. Something that will take you two days will take you six months. It's not a testimony again. I want to prophesy speed. It must land on someone. It may not come on everybody, but Lord God, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, I'm praying. May somebody here carry this mantle of speed. In the name of Jesus, speed of performance, speed of performance, speed of performance, speed of performance. Hear me, whoever fights you. In the name of Jesus, the God that I serve, that person goes down instantly from today. I 
i don't know what has left your life you are crying till now because it looks like when you miss that thing you miss everything jacob scatter mantes calabria tacososia jebreze sutos coparia takata embrace sekete kete kete rekete rekoto shopokotos embratas calapashadia mareketos kote sekete kete embreto koto perekete everything that left your life in the name of jesus and by the power of prophecy i call it back to your life right now i call it back to your life right now i call it back to your life right now hallelujah and for everyone who is a worker in this ministry in the name of jesus i decree to you let this be the season of extraordinary results in your life you are a worker in this ministry i put that anointing on your life you are a worker in this ministry i put it doesn't matter whether prayer department worship team ushering whatever i decree and declare may this grace speak bodily now bodily now bodily now let it answer now to your life Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.